so hello everyone this is prashant so as discussed the complete flow of our playlist first of all we'll be starting with some of the basic sql queries so i'll show those basic queries in sql developer that is a schema browser for any database you can use any of the schema browser that you have access to i have used this because it is an open source and it will be accessible to most of us the ones who are learning and the ones who are already working on it right so first of all we'll be starting with the very basic query of creation of a table after that we'll be learning that how can we alter the table how can we alter the table column names of the table and then we'll learn and eventually we'll learn how do we extract the data from table how do we insert the table how, how do we insert the data back into the table and all those stuff right so first of all we'll be starting with the very basic query that is how do we create a table so so for that we have the query as create table and then we'll name the table then we'll name the table t oil production and then we'll name all the columns that we need in our table so for sake we need location in it location and then what is the type that you need i need it a varchar of 26 bytes so see it is very important to mention what type of what data type that you need so in my location i need where where that variable character that you can use for any of the string that you will place in location right so it's 26 you can obviously increase or decrease according to your use but i have for the namesake i have uh, given it 26 bytes then we need indicator and then the data type varchar that is 26 bytes and then we have uh, oh sorry 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 let me see after every column name you need to give this you need to separate it by comma and then after that we need value of production value production and that will be again varchar of 26 bytes and then see we need after that we have the column name of if we have it for if for if we say we have it for time of production time of production right so yeah time of production see it's mentioning the time so it will be some it will be time it will be having the data type of date i'll show you that how important is it to store some data in a fixed type of data type right so yeah uh, we have written the query and then we'll run it so yeah you can see table t oil production has been created i'll see my schema browser i'll refresh it and then we'll see if it is there so yeah so you can see our table has been created so you can see we don't have any data in it right so first of all we'll need to learn that how do we import the data if we have it in some excel file see if you are working on some dynamic data the data is already getting populated then you don't need to learn all this but the i'm telling this for those people who want to learn sql but they don't have access to some dynamic data set you can create a static data set and you can treat it as a dynamic data set right so you see so yeah now we'll be learning how do we import the data so yeah start with that see the file that contains all the data set i'll be sharing it in my github and you can check out my github it will be in the description of, description of this video so yeah this is the oil data so now i'll show what was the importance of data type that you have mentioned over there so see these are the column names over here that you want to import these are already mentioned in our excel file too so if you if you don't want any of these columns the very basic thing thing that you can do is like just you can push it on the left side it will not get imported right so yeah again we want it fine so going to the next step next step that yeah see as you can see there's a sign of exclamation that means there was some there is some error over here what is the error see the default format that your table has taken is day month and year right but what is the format of your time it's d it's mm dd y y and then r and minutes right so it's not matching it now what will happen if you just try if you just try to push it it will not take it i'll show you see if you just find finish it see as you can see there is error now what is the way out i will show you this is the importance of the data type that you have already chosen right so now you have you you need to be very 
Tell about the data type that you have chosen, right? So again, fine, we'll take this data type. And then this time, we'll change the data type. What is the format? The format that we have mentioned is visible over here. It's mm, dd, yy, r in 24 hour format and minutes. See, the error has already been removed from here, right? So now just, just push your data. Task completed. Just wait just the question. See, as you can see, our data has been imported over here, right? So this was our main target over here. Now what? Now what is the second step? Now what happens is there are a few cases when you need to alter the table. You when if what if, what if what will you do if you want to add a column? For that, the query is we will write alter table, then you will mention the table name. Alt production and if i want to add a column i'll mention add i'll name the column as name pfs and then the data type they you will always have to mention data type with any time you want to play with columns it's 26 bytes so yeah let's run it where i'm sorry Table head, wait, wait, wait. So, yeah, 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 yeah. Table or view does not exist. That means you have mentioned the wrong table. Yeah, table has been altered. Now you can see over here. Wait, this is what the table is. So, yeah, this is what you wanted. So, you have added a new column with the name, name PFS, and it's null because you have not inserted any data in it. So, it's null by default. Now, what if I want to just delete it? The command is very simple. You will drop the table, drop, sorry, you'll drop the column, drop column, and then name the column. Don't you don't need to mention the column type, data type of the column, and just run it. Yeah, so it has been altered again. So in that case, it should get removed. Yeah, we have just refreshing. As you can see, we don't have that. So what are what are the things that we have learned till now? We know how do we create a table, how do we delete a column? How do we add a column? Now the assignment to you is, can you find a way? What is the query if I just want to modify the data type of my column? Fine. So yeah, now as we have learned all those things, now just two more basic things that we need to learn in basic creation of a table. Now, how do we delete the data that has been imported? If I want to clear this table, if I want to again clear this table completely, I, I want to import a new data set in it. I can just truncate the data set. For that, the command is, the query is, pardon me, truncate, truncate table and the table name. The table hasn't truncated as we can see. Yeah. And the second thing is, what if I want to just delete a table? So yeah, now the task for you after this video is that, can you just try to learn what will be the query if I need to just delete a table, delete a table from a database. So take this as an assignment and uh, do try to complete it. And uh, then also search for the, are there any other ways that we can truncate a table, we can drop a table, we can export file from, export the table into an Excel, Excel format just try to think over it and try to find out so yeah thank you and uh, we'll see you in the next video